Anna, what took you so long to return home after play? And what's in your hand? asked the worried mama. I was speaking to an uncle and he offered me this candy. Oh, Joanna, you should never speak to strangers. That's very bad. Let me tell you a story of this little girl, Red Riding Hood, and what happened to her. Little Red Riding Hood Little Red Riding Hood lived in a hut with her mother near the forest. She always wore a red hood which her grandma had gifted. One day, she was on her way to visit her grandmother. Her mother warned her not to speak to strangers on the way. All along the way, she was singing and enjoying with the rabbits and butterflies. There she met a wolf. The wolf pretended to be good and asked, Hello, where are you going? In spite of her mom's warning, Little Red Riding Hood spoke to the sly wolf. I am going to see my grandma. She lives behind that hill. The wolf thought of a wicked plan. He ran fast to the old grandma's house. He knocked at the door. And when the grandma opened, he pounced on her and gobbled her. He then went and lied down on the grandma's bed. After some time, Little Red Riding Hood reached the house. She saw the wolf on her grandma's bed and wondered, Grandma, what big eyes you have? And the wolf replied, So that I can see you better. Grandma, what big ears you have? So that I can hear you better, said the wolf. Grandma, what big nose you have? So that I can smell you better, replied the wolf. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have? So that I can eat you better, ha ha, replied the wicked wolf. Help me, help me, cried Little Red Riding Hood. Nearby, a woodcutter was in the forest and heard the scream. He rushed to the house and saw the wolf attacking the little girl. He hit the wolf on its head. This made the wolf wide open its mouth and then out jumped the old grandma. The wolf ran away and the little red riding hood never saw the wolf again. So, Joanna, this is the story of little red riding hood. What did you learn from the story? Yes, Mama, now I knew we should not talk to the strangers.